Hack vs. Skull Merchant, Huntress vs. Freddy, uh, the Cenobite, the Skull Merchant, and Freddy. All in contention. The Cenobite has posted his score. He will not be playing another game here. See whether the Skull Merchant or Freddy can take Group C. Yeah, uh, just good times ahead. I said, I said uh, the thing I'm most excited about. There are some cool changes to the game. I think the anti-face camp tech seems... Uh, mechanic seems uh, really, really good and, and well thought through. We'll see how it plays, of course. Um, I'm really excited by the concept, by the prospect of a super massive collaboration, a single player game there, because I, 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 I gobble up super massive games. I really do. Even the ones that I don't really, that I don't think are very good, Man of Medan, for instance, you know, it, it's still a fun concept, sufficiently fun that I you know, enjoy playing it, I enjoy experiencing it. So to have a DVD game by those folks. That's a fun thing. That's a very fun thing. As Hag takes on Steve. Again, Hag eliminated, looking to play for Pride, looking to play as Spoiler. Um, won't want to take on overlong chases like this. We'll much rather be setting up the map with traps. Also looking to keep those totems. Ah, head on. Also looking to keep those totems in check as much as possible. There's a teleport. I'm just get to repel it, unfortunately. Tough opening for the hags. Need time and time again. Well played. Well played. All right. Well, don't want to muck around there for much longer. Continuation of her tournament, really, for hag this. Pretty abject. Not much going uh, her way. Heading around, getting these totems protected. You are going to bring this game around, and already it looks like a damage control situation from the early, the early uh, runarounds. You may be relying on certainly the Bower Hope to do something big. Okay. Trolling around. Aha, as there is some totem cleansing over there. A dull totem, interestingly enough. Could just be a grab. Not quite. You don't want a pentimento right now. Not while they can see you. So you want to run them away. They get, re uh, they get the quick vault there. That's very impressive. That's a really tough angle uh, to get. Uh, on which to get a quick vault. A couple of traps there. Get that doubly protected. Who knows? I've already cleansed the dull. Could this be a situation in which you're looking at five pentimento stacks? Always possible. One thing she has done is she has gotten some of these traps out there. That trap is gone, but they've not actually cleansed the totem, intriguingly enough. Oh no, hang on. There was never a trap here to begin with. Okay, so we'll get one out there now. There's the leader. Into the pallet burn. Okay. Is attuned for any. Oh, well played. Gonna say for any traps being activated. They just got the totem while avoiding the traps. That's a great play from them. Teleporting around. It does seem to have all the hallmarks of a game that's not gonna be very good for the hag. And here's the question we're now asking Two hooks has been the lowest total posted thus far. Will this get... Will the hag accrue two hooks? Be looking to spare some blushes by avoiding that particular fate. Deary me, main building could be a bit of a nightmare, can't it? There goes another totem. Nightmarish scenes once again for the hag. Simpson scene. Stop, stop. She's already dead. And into the head on play, fair enough. Okay, gonna get Pentimento back. I mean, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta say, hey, listen, they've played a blinder here. And it certainly seems that way, doesn't it? Could be simplicity itself for the Skull Merchant here. And the Cenobite camp will be very despondent. The Freddy camp will be furious. Still a bit of game to go. Still a chance to get something going in the way of, of effective gameplay. There's a big gem moving over here. I put pressure on someone. Gets the grab! Oh, and just like that. Just like that. In the hooks. 
So the Skull Merchant will at least have to do something. She'll have to get something going. She'll have to be some, in some way, effective. Okay. Bit of a gift. And that one important grab that is, it's, it consigns that scary gen to Hex Ruin. For how long that will keep it in check remains to be seen. Let's see on Hoke. You assume they'll immediately be back for the gen. Heading over, getting the grab. Trap activated on the left, not too fussed about that. Must be healing on hook if they're not going for the gen immediately. Can I have a look? That's exactly what they're doing. They get it. Oh, they can't say who goes for the who goes for the window. Body blocking one another, and now just like that could be some uh, could be could be something more for the hag here. God, I hate these heels. Rework these heels. Needs to be far more clear. Far more clear. Um, what ramp is reversible and what isn't. Couple of the traps on the gen, they should be plainly obvious, you imagine. They'll be removed before anything else happens as a heal. Any small victories the Hank's getting, immediately rebuffed by this team. There goes the totem, some ruin gone. Pentimento's still in play. Surely, surely someone will be getting on these gens thereafter. This gen specifically. There they are. Got rid of the traps, remember you can smudge away. Those traps, you don't need a flashlight for it, so they're, they're making good use of that, this game. Thing upstairs, walking through. It's gonna follow suit as a hag. It's got a bit too much distance, and with main building up ahead, I feel like this could be a bit of a nasty chase for her. Let's go window here. There's still one Pentimento stack for what that's worth. Who knows? Maybe a chance. There's Yui. Be an injury for her. That keeps her away. Okay. Playing a little bit of a cautious, guarded game here. Maybe a trap that isn't so, quite so noticeable. That, maybe? That's a chance, doesn't it? Okay. Get Pentimento. Get two stacks on that. A nice buffer. Keep those gens as slow as possible. Another trap down. Hello, Fiend. Welcome in. Oh, I, I'm glad. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Every ounce of that good energy here. Someone around here, if they got into a locker. No, it's Leon. Is it Sprint Burst or are they just trying to hide their scratch marks? Yeah, we're just trying to hide the scratch marks. Take an injury. Two hooks here for the Hag and she can avoid worst ever uh, game, cat the worst ever game categories as Yui. Momentarily looking to take aggro for Leon, but then Scarpers to the right. Let's keep on Leon here. Need a dying state. Might get it. They're going to have to fall down. Why am Bance landing? <laughs> okay. Looking for a pot. Hack's been bad, but not quite that bad. Looking for another hook here. We'll find one. Okay. So two hooks it is. Still three gens to go. Almost certainly because of Pentimento, the gens have not been quite as quick as you might imagine. Uh, having said that, you do know that, uh, yeah, here you go, one moving to a great degree over here. Ah, little bit of a fake out. Does that get a good? Does not. It's a trap. Can I teleport beyond? It will be. Oh, and a grab! Massive. Absolutely huge. For the hack, another opportune grab on Steve. Makes it three hooks. Okay, and just inching, inching at a glacial pace into the realms of competitive. As there's breakdown on the hook over here, or, or an immediate sabo thereafter, not entirely sure. The chase to be had. Um, there's two gens left still. There's you on the right. They go window preemptively. Do they veer around this way? Looking for an injury, gets it. It should mean that Thalita has to go for the save, unless Leon fancies being bold. Didn't put any traps down on the hook. And that could have been something that really, really helped this situation. If you're the hack, you are relying on a snowball here in no uncertain terms. So yeah, the, the unhook will go through unimpeded. The window here. Oh, an unforced error. An unforced error in a dying state. Getting the grab. Okay, four hooks. And just suddenly, you feel like there's maybe a chance for more here. You do lose a gen. Or oh, is that going to be Sabo here? It won't be. Wow. It's 
convinced, convinced it was going to be a sabotage situation. Okay, you can learn the mistakes of last time. Get those traps down. There was someone hanging around here. No clue where they've gone. If you could find them, injure them, that could be an exceptionally good thing. Not going to be able to move elsewhere. There's the unhook. Without activating the traps. There they are. That's Thalita. Injury for her. A rare thing for this Thalita. Been very, very good so far. They are going to go upstairs. They will not. No, no. They went elsewhere. Good play from them. No gem moving to the left. That you recall. So checking out these two. Certainly trapping them. And there's Steve. And there's Leon. Okay. Two survivors who have proved slightly fallible before. Steve trying for a stealth play. Won't quite make it happen. Another injury here is a hag. No pallet here, thankfully. Always back to main building, though. That is rough. This has to be the chase. Just to put the pressure on in the late game. They vault through. Do they go back at any point? They don't. Utilizing lives. Just get away. Trap over here. Could be massive. It will be. Huge, huge stuff. Okay. Starting to turn it on. Maybe a little bit too late, but there's still some game left. That will be a kill. Sort of wanted that to not be a kill, but... At the very least, it does apply pressure. Trying to get through a three-gen situation with three survivors can be very tricky, as we all know. Still got two Pentamento stacks in play. There is lots to like here for the hag. Get an injury on Yui. You would really want this to be a quick one too. There's barely any traps in play though, which is a shame. Oh, good place to come back for the palace done. Didn't expect it. Might leave them be. Head back to the gen. You assume that Leon is back on it. And the notion maybe that Thalita is moving Killer Shack as well. Get this down. Right, so the hack knows where Leon is. But Leon might not know that. So can you utilize that by doing a little bit of this. There he is, coming back around. Nice, okay. Good counter of the window. Exactly what he needed to do. There goes a trap over there. They're going to try and cleanse Pentimento. That's fine, because there are two stacks on it. So all that is is a little bit of wasted time. So lots to like here still. No pallet here. That's gone, so it'll be another dying state. Beautiful. Okay. Slowly but surely, putting up a respectable total here. It's proof positive that you can never give up a game, no matter how bad it looks in the early running. Especially with Hag, who can turn it around so often in the late game. Okay. Getting those traps down. Checking out this gen, checking out the other gen. They surely will be moving that gen over there. Just going to hope that there's no one on Killer Shack gen. Seems unlikely. That's what the hag is gonna. That's the assumption on which the hag is gonna base her gameplay. But someone moving in! Look for a grab! Gets it! My lord, all eyes on Felita! All eyes on Felita. What's she gonna do? How's she gonna contend against the hag? Quick trap down. Heading back to Leon. It is now a hook guard situation. There's Felita! Oh, it doesn't quite get the grab. It'll be a trade. That's all it'll be. Going after Leon. Praying for no unbreakable on Felita. And there's a grab! Assuming no unbreakable. The hag has done it. In the most unlikely of circumstances. All eyes on the dying state survivor on the left there. All eyes once again on Felita. It's breakdown. They will surely be going for the corner, yeah. And I hope that there is still a hook for them here. And there will be. Must be makeable. Looks makeable. There's no wiggling. What an unbelievable comeback for the hag who has been performing in a subpar manner all tournament long. She has now put massive pressure, massive pressure on... The Skull Merchant. Wow. Never give up. There you go. Is there a command for your peripherals or gear? Only the headset 
I, I, hello, Snap. I'll tell you why. I used to have all of my all of my specs yeah. in my about section below the video. If you scroll down, you'll see what's there right now. Um, I used to have all of my. Oh, I need to look for this. Okay, they're all in this column. Brilliant. Hello. Spiel. Um, I used to have all of my specs there, and then someone came in and backseated my RAM. They said, did you know that the write speed of your RAM means you are effectively bottlenecking your whole PC? You should change it immediately. And then I just immediately got rid of it because I couldn't be dealing with that. Uh, Bill, one thing you need to know about, about Bill, loves his torch. Loves his little torch to spill, as does Felix. Oh, great job, didn't expect that. Okay. Well... Do you like your retinas? Well, don't get too attached. Don't get too attached here. Good play, the double back. No, they went here and then left, yes. Uh, Patron's down as well. Sort of forgetting herself already, you can sort of sense the despondency at having not, good quick fall from Bill, at having not um, even gotten a chance to get through. You can sense the upset there for sure with some of these plays. Yeah. My TikTok feed's now popping up on my recommended on Twitch. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Glad to hear the recommended page on Twitch is doing some good. Um, rough opening, has to be said. No two rays around it. A bit of a toughie. Hope to bring it back here. And all drones are out there. No bounce landing for near. Bit of a surprise. The moment they fell down, you anticipated that it would be a bounce landing situation. So they're gonna fake out the pallet and move away from it. Really good play from them. because they have another one up ahead? Uh, won't have one before an injury. There it is. Puts up another save as last stack. Get some of these drones in play. So it keeps on running. It keeps on running. It keeps on running. And they keep on running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and running, running, and contact, disrespect, bust around, I'll break my neck. Etc, etc, etc. Right, first hook, in play, for the Skull Merchant. Drone down in Saloon could be decent. Felix up ahead, there is gem movement over yonder. There goes Bill. Bang, this could be a really good opportunity on Bill here. Oh, Felix! The Rectors send their regards! <laughs> Surely no, oh God, couldn't get the pickup immediately. Surely no chance for a flash last save here. And it will be a dying state for Bill unless you have sabotage potential. No. Okay. Good hook. Mirror Beyonder, not too interested. More interested in the gem in Zarina on it. They cut that way, come back around. They've done that really well. I might get away with this. Oh, a lucky hit. A lucky hit for the Skull Merchant there. They might be a little bit aggravated that connected, and I would understand why. Where's Felix? Felix is over there. See him with a radar. Could I just try and hone in on Serena here? You do have a nice spread of injuries, at least. Looking tough. Looking like a tricky situation. Immediate power burn. Um, but not over yet, obviously. As Thwack. The aura reading. Do that little last minute fake out. They've done really well to cancel that. Should be a burn. That's unbelievable they didn't burn there. These moonwalks shouldn't really do anything because they can clearly see the top of the skull merchant's head. Where have they gone? They've got to another loop entirely. They've fled the scene. The whole gang's here. Hi, everyone. Okay. Um, who? Who? This should force a pallet burn. It will. Get a pallet break thereafter. Looking at these gems. Uh, you have. Something, if not a full-on three gen, and something adjacent to a three gen yeah. around the gallows. You're looking at this one, this one, and this one. Keeping this one in mind. Don't want to lose it if you don't have to. And a drone slap bang right, in the middle of the map yet again. I feel it's getting on a gen near on the right. Looking to really tighten the screws here. Not been entirely ineffective. Yeah. Uh, looked at the radar, then saw them in the bush. Thankfully still getting the injury. That could have been very embarrassing indeed. Mish, thanks so much for the raid. Welcome in, welcome in raiders. How are you doing? How's your stream? 
what why are you up to join us in a really scary skull merchant game just took my finger off double you there is all the math is all that uh, happened they should not get to pallet here oh god another really close call on it bill will want this save it's so important we don't allow bill this save the day I get flashlight saved by a bill is the day I uh, I hang up my headset forever. So we're going to pick up. Oh my god. No, not the pallet! Oh, oh, oh dear me. Skull Merchant playing with fire. Playing with fire in a major, major way. Gets another hook and listen, she's not out of this game just yet. Another drone down adjacent to Killer Shack getting the kick. This is Survivor World cosplaying as a pink bunny thing. Hey! Fung, sorry. Hey, that sounds amazing. Well, I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for the raid. Ah, they're going to break apart the gallows 3 gen. Good play from them. No one on the radar. No one's claw trapped. It was near. Oh, it's Bill. Bill up. Oh. Oh. Look at the timing on that, because I promise you that would have been close. But having said that, you should be in an okay position to still get the dying state here. Yes, very good. Felix might be looking for a flashlight save. Shouldn't be able to get here in time to do anything much in the way of effectiveness. Looking up. Look up, look up. They sabbowing the hook. Go left. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be really close. He gets it. She gets it. Brilliant stuff. Whew. He referring to me and she referring to the skull merchant. Our forces combined. Our powers combined. We got it. Okay. Dear me, what an intensely pressured game yet again. Here's something about the drones. Drone right in the middle. Not protecting a gem, but it is making them go on really wide lines. They can't both get the window. Who decides? Neither of them do. Injury there. They medium vault they're after. Dropping down. After near another drone around this loop. They just keep on running through. This is a team who are pretty averse to burning these pads. Remember that. Amazing call to vault over immediately there. Very good stuff. It's a pallet to the right, pallet to the left. They go for neither. They go keep on just keep on running. Is there a pallet here as well? There is. Blimey. Getting the kick. Left. Oh, that aura could be huge. It was okay to have, but they've still kept a nice little distance, a nice line taken by them. They're not falling for any of these mind games, but having said that, it will still be a dying state. This should deny them. Oh, God. They should deny them flashlight save. They're, they're there. They're still trying to make it happen. Won't be able to. Feel this on the left. Build behind. Have a hook. Immediately onto the gem, getting the boot in. Being that activated. It's a pretty nasty 3-gen, by which I mean it's not really a 3-gen in any... by any real definition of the word. It's Arena. On this gen, sprint blast, take her away. Take that out just momentarily, come back. Hey, it just gets them to hesitate. Good injury. Not really been utilising save the best for last to the... to the best of its ability. Cheeky little moonwalk. Surely a fake-out situation. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And then the grab from the locker. Perfect. Team's healed up, but... On the board. In the hooks. Ah, it dissipates a drone when you get a hook in its proximity. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, anyone going to commit here? No one going to commit. Okay. Getting the boot, getting the aggression. Oh, really wanted the grab. But was putting a drone up and couldn't get it, but getting the grab on Bill! Getting the grab on Bill, getting the hook on Bill. They just fancied themselves to commit to the gen. It'll be a kill. Wow. Humongous work from the skull merchant here. Her tournament is over, but she won't mind about that. She's putting everything on the table here. Is Ezarina on the hook? Take an injury. <laughs> He's trying to use Sprint Burst, but took a weird line with it. Yeah, back on the gen. Moonwalk. Faking out, moving back around here. Good play. Forcing the pallet burn. Yeah. Good injury there as well. Serena almost certainly wants to get back on this gen. Does so. It's all over for her. Okay. She's going to come back for the gen. Does she commit to this? Does she get it? 
She does, well played. Will be another hook, uh, will be a second hook, okay. Near up ahead. Uh, sorry, Felix up ahead. Near, not entirely sure where she is. Ah, she's on the left, okay. So you know where both survivors are, that's huge intel. Pivoting around. There she is, okay. Both survivors taking a wide line, both survivors roughly running towards this gate over here. Neither of them moving in immediately. This is great. If you keep on near, it forces Felix to even go for the save. Oh, or get the gate. I just missed the pallet earlier. The scream! Denied them the blind! Gives us skull match in a dying state! Wow! Huge from Thwack! Huge from Thwack there! Send the flashlight up into the air! Simply the heralding of an upcoming death hook. It looks like it will still be the two getting out. What a game. What a game. That was a lot of fun. Very good stuff. Oof. And what a way to bow out. Well played. Get flank, sunshine. <laughs> Very good. Never had that happen before. That was great. Nine hooks for the Skull Merchant, we'll see. And that'll be her loss. Her second of the tournament. 29 hook total. Not going to get it done. Hat gets in the win column. Uh, 29 also. So just like that, she has absolutely stormed up in Group C there. Sort them both descending. So Skull Merchant, in fact, completely tied. Hag would actually leapfrog the Skull Merchant here on the basis of superior seeding. So let's, I don't know, we'll sort that out later. I don't, want to, I don't want to potentially mess around with the group here. So we have a huge game ahead of us. Freddy needs a win and needs to get 10 hooks in the process. If Freddy gets the 10 hook win, he will leapfrog Cenobite to be group C winner. Cenobite will be eliminated. If Freddy gets fewer than nine hooks, he can't win either. He can't he can't get over center by even if he does get the three points. Intrigue once again abounds in our final head-to-head -head of today. As it's Father Campbell Chapel, the scene of the clown game during the uh, tournament, of course. That didn't go maybe as well as I would have liked. I'm just hoping to do a bit better here. Any gem movement on this side? None at all. None at all. Maybe on the way back, a good time to utilize Darkness Field. Do you imagine? There certainly could be some Killer Shack movement here. No intel at all. Not the ideal map for Darkness Field, it has to be said. Did she spy someone moving off to the right? I'm not entirely sure. No intel just yet. Oh, they just got away in time. Good throw! Held it up for long enough. They'd have to react very quickly to dodge. They weren't quite able to. And now, chase very much on. We've around this corner. Is there a chance here? Oh, just wasn't quite aiming at the right position there. A little bit too fast to the left. Always tough. Dink it over the gen! No joy. No joy. Try again. Just getting behind the wall. Tough map for the Huntress. Lots of that kind of situation you'll be seeing. Uh, these kind of walls completely blocking lines of sight. So they keep on running though. <sighs> Trying to somehow catch the top of the head. They keep on going. In the end it wasn't on target at all. But no matter. Closes it down eventually. With the melee hit. We'll need to reload here, and that will, in turn, hopefully give some aura reading. Unsuccessful Dark Reveal play uh, first time around. Okay, no auras, but of course you get the intel as to survivors around this gen. At least one. There they are. It's fun, man. Swim burst play. Makes a lot of sense. Bring up. Oh, just a bit behind them. Good play. Do I go for the window? If so... Ah, oh, I mean, it wasn't going to land true anyway. Take a window here. Ooh. Very good M1 here. Okay, loses three quick gens, needs to get on the hooks, and needs to do it now. 
So, in that regard, good play for the Huntress. Let's see unhook. Any chance of this getting over the hill and down? Oh, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been too far away there. The hatchet's not been exceptional so far. Oh, it's a survivor off hook. Don't want to mess around with BT or off the record or anything like that. So, looking again for the survivor who got the unhook. Nowhere to be seen. Too often that's the case. And so it is once more. Where the Dwight getting the totem cleanse? Whoever it was, I've scarped now. It's Steve, okay? Just hitting the back there. They're going to go vault. I'm just going down. Looking for a hit around this corner, maybe. Tough situation there. There's the unhook. Where did Steve go thereafter? Not entirely sure. Need to keep on the gems. Very important. Fish. Thanks so much for the six months. Very kind of you. There goes Dwight. Not quite able to connect. A really slow early game patrol. And just not able to close things down as quickly as she would like. And good dodge from the Dwight there. But it's all, it's all coming together for Freddy. <sighs> Anticipating a dodge to the left that never quite happens. Trying to counter them. Just hitting the foreground way too often. Here's a Huntress. And that won't even have a chance. Okay. Back to the walls. Back to the locker. Could be looking like a game to forget. But, we, of course, if we're looking for reasons to be full of hope, Remember, of course, the hag game earlier and how abject that looked. <sighs> Looking for an opportunity to swing a hatchet in. Doesn't quite connect. They run through here. They surely won't run, won't run through now. We're up at the last second. Good play from Steve. Just a perfect loop to deny Huntress as well. Just a little bit bigger than you might expect. And some nice land side denial. Pivoting back. Rearing up. Nothing there. Coming back around. Aha. Is what we would be saying if there were a survivor here. You do at least get darkness revealed. And that won't do anything hay bale in the way. And it's just rearing up at the right time. This is a nasty game. Nasty, nasty game for the hunt. Just nothing really going her way. Mmm, me too, monologued. Me too. Good play from them. Well, it look it's looking like if things keep on in this regard. It will be... Oh, trying to be preemptive, can't quite make it happen. Looking like it will be an easy win for Freddy, but a win alone won't do it. Needs to get, uh, I think it's 10 hooks he needs to get. A certain number. I have to revisit the spreadsheet. So, they'll be happy for an easy win condition and that the door is not shut to them. Again, if this continues as it has in the early running. Over. Good hatchet here. Okay. A little bit more of that needed. They burn. That was good. Okay. More of that level of effectiveness needed. Ten yes, got you. Hook up ahead. I'm going to get the boot into the gen. I do fear that there are still going to be gens moving. going to try and send a very... One of the most speculative hatchets you've ever seen. If that lands on someone, I'll give you the money myself. Get in the reload. No aura reading. There's the unhook. Up and over. Oh, what a throw, what a hit. That was very, very good. Again, it's one of those where it's it's in the context of a pretty rubbish game, so it may be forgotten to the sands of time, but uh, a good hit nonetheless. But there goes the last gen. No one on the panel just yet. Scratch marks around that area. Where would they be going? Would they be going? It's a great question. Aha! So Dwight over here. I'd love to make it a hatchet hit for your first one. We may have to just rely on M1. Will do. They'll flee the scene. Rearing up here. Need a nice line of sight. Will be denied a nice line of sight. Same old story time and time again. What an awful game. Where have they even gone? Now that's a great question. Coming back around here. Seems like it. I agree, Maurice. I agree. Presumably... Someone, 99 the gate or moving it along. Can that hatchet land? Not quite. That la can that hatchet land? 
Not quite. It looks like it's all low, doesn't it? It. Uh, maybe it is. Hang on. Rearing up with this. Needed that to connect. It's now all over. Darn. What a toughie for the Huntress. That is a three hook performance. And here we go, an immediate powers opportunity here in Swamp, which is an okay map for Freddy. Getting these palettes up really early, denying the opportunity to see which one is fake and which one is real. Really, really good. Two gens over by main building. Oh, how are the gens looking? We spread out. Okay. No room to the left. Hey, an immediate survivor. Near. Around here. Looking to get under main building and try and take on some pallet loops thereafter. Lucky break for her. Good play from Freddy to try and keep on her. Do they vault back over? They don't. Well played. They do now. They did. They were really restrained there, but thankfully, still able to come back around for the dying state is Freddy. Trying for no flashlight saves. Doesn't look like there will be any forthcoming. Okay, basement's there. Basement under main building is always so tough. Because you can sometimes lose sight of which is your entryway, and in doing so, give up. Give up the hook entirely. Wow, quick unhook. That is intriguing. There was someone on this gen. Or at least we were certain there was someone on this gen. Okay. Okay, gen booted. Uh, probably time to head elsewhere. Check out the pier, maybe. That's not the pier. And they've lost teleport. Good stuff. <laughs> One thing about Freddy. I find it really aggravating how you can just lose your teleport because you go for the wrong one. Here we go, window. Good injury. Moving around this side, up into, once again, main building. Some scary loops here. I, I don't know. That was a deception play. I don't think they were in the vicinity. Ah! Freddy's going to check this out. Aha. Well, never mind. It was you. Okay. I to avoid a flashlight. So even if there's someone down there, shouldn't be... Shouldn't be applicable. Okay. Two hooks on the board. Ten the magic total. Already it's looking like the win may be a bit of a foregone conclusion. Look, not looking for barbecue. I really should be looking for barbecue. Looks like there might have been an aura on that gem. Gonna check out the area. Okay. There was not seeing things where there was nothing there. Oh, tutorial. Burning shot pallet. Going for the blind. Probably go window thereafter. Good play from Freddy. Instinctively knowing where he needed to be in spite of the blindness. Good stuff. Okay. Well, for all it's worth, that is a draw confirmed. Barbecue. Once again, providing nothing in the way of aura reading. Wondering if it's a big distortion lobby, maybe. Certainly someone moving this gen. There's Meg. Taking injury. Freddy really wants to turn the screws here. Not going to sweat the gen kick, especially without any gen kick perks. Simply wants to get back into the hooks. There goes that pallet. Good injury. Okay, no hesitation. Moving around it. Gets the goods. Can't wait, tech me. Oh, oh. They got away pretty sharpish. Yeah, all the way over to this aggravating corner hook, just a little bit far, too far from pretty much everything else. Gen does pop. Which one is it? Not entirely sure, but what it does do is it gives you some ridiculous intel. Two survivors heading around here, including Nia, who would have been undetectable, who would have been oblivious because of the sleep effect. That'll be a next chase for Freddy. Four hooks to his total. It's not over yet, this game, but he's made a good start to it, and this could be a really decent play if he can drop down on her here. Maybe. No. They were just wise to it, it seems. Good play from Nia. Good counterplay. Aha. 
opening upon Vittorio once more. Dream Palette right there. Heading to another Dream Palette. This could be Dream Palette 1, 2. Go right, go right. Ah, oh, they went for the right one. They went for the right one. The 50-50 call they chose correctly. Taking another nice line. They will find another real Palette here. They do. Go for the blind again. They'll get it. They're going right immediately. Oh, Freddy doing well. Not quite well enough to get a hit through the window. But might be able to get it here. Yes, indeed. Okay, so that'll take him to, what, five hooks. Half of the job done. Two of the gens currently completed. Immediately over to barbecue. Two survivors there. be a very very good chase to take it's a chase where you'd probably prefer dream stairs rather than the dream pallets obviously but still good opportunity uh, don't, don't know what that was <laughs> a stopping turning and solemnly bowing ah they found the correct pallet get that booted they surely won't be fooled by this one there's no way they're fooled by this one no being the seams that's a bit burst or live? No, I think it was live. Got the fault there. Oh, I just couldn't quite fall down immediately. Try to play that too efficiently. Gives Ace an opportunity to get away. Another pallet here. Pallets of arms now. None of them real. So they'll be looking to get away from the area. Pivot left, pivot left. Okay. Dying state. Six hooks. You imagine a gem will pop shortly. <laughs> Barbecue. If you into on this, are able to keep up constant pressure on this gen. Here's Freddy, a boot into it. Someone run around that way. Can he counter them by moving around here preemptively? That was Meg. They may well want to tap the gen, they do. Then bolt down here. Good play from Freddy, it's live. An efficient move means that he counts the very worst effects of it. Looking for an injury, which will be obtained. A reminder, 10 hooks. The magic number. To send Cenobite crashing out a shock win. For Freddy in Group C could be on the cards. Scratch marks continue up ahead. They find another pallet. Can't be too many left now. There's certainly a lot of dream pallets. Not many real ones, you would wager. And they're going to Dream Pallet City. And they're leaving Dream Pallet City. And there goes a gem. And there are little sparse bits of gem movement all around here. And this is a Dream Pallet. So this chase will be all over. It's beautifully well done. Seven hooks. Things are getting mighty, mighty interesting. This could come down to the wire. Forlorn, welcome in. Watch all your stuff on TikTok. First time I come and see you on Twitch. Oh, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Johnson, a little bit of a killer drive right now. It's the uh, culmination of today's World Cup of Killer Games. And there is someone or other. Not going to go after them. Going to go after the unhook. They're playing the scene. Uh, near in the vicinity. Uh, look, it's a pallet. Do you want to burn that? <laughs> Usually not very effective when you put the pallets up mid-chase. They go window. Good play from Freddy. Looking for an injury here. We'll get it. Look at the way. Still two gen buffer. Three hooks required. Try to keep on this chase. God, they got some distance there. Maybe lithe following the vault. Trying his best to keep on top of the chase. Knows how impactful this game could be. Knows what's at stake here. It says another window. This is not usually the tile you want to be committing to as killer. They're going to be loving this. We'll get to the pallet here. The pallet not as concerning for Freddy. Done well on them so far. They're not going to vault over. They will now, but a little bit too late. Okay. And, uh, eight hooks. Assuming he can get it here. Another gem pops. It is going to come down to it. Nowhere could be the savior of Freddy's campaign. Look up here. 
Barbecue and chili could be massive. It is. Someone over there. Someone up here. Look at the gen. Camping the hook wouldn't do it. Camping the hook would not do it. That would only be nine. Needs to take the fight to the survivors. Scratch marks down here. Oh, but where? But where to? Someone was right by this gate immediately. They're surely moving it. Scratch marks around here, but where? Not able to finalize on this. Two lights on the gate. When will they get their third? They won't be able to get their third. Victoria running back. Look at second injury. It'll be dying state. On the hook to the left. It'll be the ninth hook. Um, if this is not a death, staying close to the hook could be the play for Freddy. If it is a death, then my god, things are going to be tough. Oh, it's a kill! And they're on that gate. Can't sweat the gate here. Needs to go after the survivors. Someone's on Noed. Freddy not going to allow that to be cleansed. There they are! If he closes down this chase, it will be the ten hooks he needs. It's a dream pallet! Assuming he gets to a hook, Freddy is through, and the Cenobite is eliminated. It's right there. Surely no twist in the tail here. He's done it. What a shock. Group C winner, Freddy. Cenobite crashing out. The big endgame build there. No Ed, remember me. Blood Warden, so crucial. Vittorio is almost certainly getting that gate if it isn't for... um. If it isn't for, no, uh, if it isn't for, remember me. Unbelievable stuff. Weighing on it's a, to get out here, they may well be uh, forming a welcoming party at the other exit line. No, they're not. That's still shut. Okay. Away they go. Whew. It came down to it, and it did come down to the endgame build in the end. But Freddy, against all odds, has defeated Huntress and leapfrogged the Cenobite by one hook. Could not have cut it any finer. The Huntress ends a pretty dismal campaign with another loss. Right, sorting that group by group G, uh, by column G and then column F, by points and then hooks. Freddy! is through and the Cenobite does not have a stronger second position than the Omriel therefore the Cenobite cannot get through and is eliminated. Omriel still in contention here. Hope still um, flourishes for the Omriel. <laughs>